Hey guys, just wanted to give you a short video here. Discovered something pretty cool that most people haven't found out about yet. Or anybody that I've found on the internet. Um, there's a few guys trying to make transistors at home. And uh, can't really seem to find any videos about it. So basically I've been playing around. I was actually looking to make a solar cell. And uh, I was copying, um, uh, there's a guy on YouTube there, uh, I think he's under Laser Hacker. Anyway, he built um, some supercapacitors using graphene powder, carbon, activated carbon, um, urethane, and some aluminum plates. And he's building supercapacitors with these. And uh, I was kind of trying to do the same thing, only I wanted to make it self-recharging. So instead of using activated uh, charcoal, I was using silicone carbon, or silicon carbide grit. So basically it's the same thing they make, uh, you know, grinding discs, anything like that. Same stuff they make that out of. Um, also, silicon is what they make actual transistors from. And, uh, yeah, usually they dope it with something. With, uh, they use a spurting method, which uses a plasma, and that will break down any metallic that they want to put on the surface, and they put it on, and oxide thin layers and that's what gives you the ability to control your transistor on and off using a voltage so anyways uh, what I wanted to show you guys here was basically I've made a transistor um, I've set this to ohms I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that from there or not but if I place my I've got my positive lead underneath right now, so it's touching the, what would be the uh, collector plate, and the opposite side, and this is just two aluminum plates in here, and there's a small piece of copper in the center. And basically I've painted on, I've mixed urethane, or Rust-Oleum lacquer is what it is. And I've mixed that with my silicon carbide. And I made a paintable solution. And I painted it on to two pieces of aluminum. And then in between is some copper. And there's nothing special about the copper, nothing special about the aluminum. It's just aluminum flashing. It's been sanded, painted with silicon carbide and then the car the uh, copper wire has been oxidized and then cleaned so it is anodized I guess you could say or um, basically it's been pitted or some guys will say pickled and pickled so that it'll uh, have more surface area basically I didn't do that for this project I did it for another project but I just used it here and this is what results it gave me. So anyway, I have no resistance, or I have unlimited infinite resistance between plates. So there's nothing picking up on here. And on my base, or my gate, whatever you want to call it, there's no, no resistance to my... Uh, collector. So I'm just going to show you here. I don't know if I can set this up and do it at the same time or not. So I'm just going to set this somewhere. Hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I'll redo the video and show you guys the results.
So right now I've got that held. So right now I've got that held on to my collector. I've got this 12 volt battery. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the base or the gate, whatever you wanna call it, to, yeah, that's the positive electrode. You see there's still nothing happening. But the minute I touch the uh, emitter plate, it, uh, it gives me re uh, zero resistance across my plates. Jump in there. Hang on. My aluminum has oxidized. Yeah, so it's oxidized a little bit since I was testing it. But as you can see, I let go, I take it off, and it stops. Add voltage, and it goes again. Now my clamp's gonna fall off on me here, but yeah. Basically you can see the you can see that hopefully. If not, I'll get a closer view of it. Pretty cool though. So yeah, a little bit of silicon carbide, a couple plates of aluminum, and a little piece of copper. And you can make your own little transistors at home. Now, I doubt that they'll carry a lot of current because there's no electrolyte. It's a dry cell. Basically, I'm just gonna show you sure if you can see this or not but so it's just tiniest little pieces it's just a coil of copper in the middle and two plates that are not touching almost but not quite so there's no contact of the aluminum to the aluminum and all that's in there is a piece of copper so yeah it's big for a transistor but <laughs> I'm sure it can be scaled down